I, I would say perhaps mostly in the field of speech language pathology, there has always been a recognition because the focus of study is language that people who speak two languages aren't like people who speak only one language. So there needs to be a greater understanding of what that means when it comes to evaluation because the tendency has been to evaluate in one language or the other language and then simply say, well, then this is what it means or this is the individual in some way, which doesn't really capture what's going on. But it's not simply about trying to evaluate in both languages. I don't think that's necessarily the only thing. It's more about the recent recognition that a person's performance in any language is dependent upon their development in that language. And the difference between a monolingual, somebody who only speaks one language, and a bilingual, somebody who speaks two languages or more, is that they may have differential exposure in both of those languages as compared to the monolingual. Monolingual you've been exposed to one language pretty much your entire life. So I can tell exactly how much time you've had in development in that language. But with a, a bilingual individual, you've had some of your exposure in one language, some of your exposure in another language, and they're not balanced necessarily. They're not the same. And so that has implications for your development. Again, speech language pathologists have really conducted some research, people like uh, Dr. Elizabeth Pena uh, and her colleagues, uh, Dr. Bador, um, Dr. E Iglesias, um, uh, who else? There's several of them that really have begun to say, you must take into account the amount of exposure that a person has in a language if you are to properly evaluate their competence in that language. And so this is something that has not been well recognized in general in the field of assessment. And it's something that must be applied because there is no other way than to evaluate someone fairly if you cannot account for the length of exposure that they have had in that language pretty much relative to a monolingual speaker of that same age. So again, to put it simply, two people could be 10 years old. A bilingual, though, may have been learning English for only five of those years, whereas the monolingual English speaker has been learning it for 10. You can't compare someone with 10 years of language development to someone with five years of language development in that language. Even though they're both 10 years old, the language difference is important to consider, and it has a tremendous impact on their test performance.